Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's The Owning with Thrifty Divas and I have another Dollar Tree haul here for everybody. So I'm fairly confident it's gonna be a two-parter, but we'll see, I could be totally wrong. And I've actually tried to organize some of the stuff so I have some system and we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's just get started. No rhyme or reason, but at least I'm gonna attempt to group into category, I don't know. Anyway, so starting off with two wish list items that I was very excited about. These are the nitrile coated inspection, packing, shipping, and receiving gloves. Um, 13 gauge seamless black polyester liner. That's the nitrile part. And I only saw one size, I think, which was large, I think is what's going on. And it's by Azusa Safety. So it is not distributed by Greenbrier. So I picked up two pairs of those. And then this was another wish list item, which was the Toolbench Hardware Reflective Safety Vests. And I did get three of them. Um, I got, I don't know, me, my husband, my son, I, I don't really know, but I definitely just wanted to have these because you just never know. So I got three of those. Um, then let me show you, I just picked up a few shirts for my son. I found four at various different stores. So one jerseys in black, a t-shirt, one fruit of the loom in this pretty turquoise. This is all style apparel and I love this. It's like a nice dark kind of army green. He definitely doesn't have anything like that. And then this is also all star and uh, all style. And this is a nice orange one. So I grabbed those four. I thought that was great. Then I also found him these socks that I couldn't even believe it. So these are kids crew socks. You get two pairs and they're crew. They hardly ever have this designed crew length in kids like ever they're always the ankle ones or the plain solid color crew ones so look at these it has two different types of dinosaurs on there and then you get a red green and white striped pair as your second pair I thought that was so cool so I made sure to grab that for him as well then I did pick up a few more of the pillowcase, the satin pillowcases with the words on them. Um, a couple of them are for friend mail, and then a couple of them are for a giveaway, which will happen down the line, because I know from the comments that a lot of people were uh, trying to find those. So, all right, next... Um, let me do books, which I usually never do right in the middle, but I'll just do them because they're here in front of me. So this book retailed for $28 US. It's called Joy. Um, Joy, poet, seeker, and the woman who captivated C.S. Lewis. So I just think my mom would absolutely love this. Her name is Joy Davidman. It says Joy Davidman is known, if she is known at all, as the wife of C.S. Lewis. Their marriage was immortalized in the film Shadowlands and Lewis's memoir, A Grief Observed. Now through extraordinary new documents, as well as years of research and interviews, Abigail Santa Maria brings Joy Davidman, Davidman Gresham Lewis to the page in, in the fullness and depth that she deserves. So I thought that was really cool and I think it's totally up my mom's alley. So I think she would enjoy that. Another thing I picked up um, for my mom is this book called The Middle Passage. Um, it's the winner of the Coretta Scott King Illustrator Award and at a special commendation at the Jane Addams Children's Book Award. There's a quote on here by Maya Angelou about the book. Um, I, I, it's, it says, the Middle Passage was one of the most tragic ordeals in history, the terrifying and cruel trafficking of enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean. Um, 
so it's just I don't know why it had a an honorary children's award though it's pretty it's pretty graphic but it has absolutely amazing illustrations and the entire book if I'm not mistaken is all illustrations there's just a few pages of print in the beginning yeah a few pages of print in the beginning but then it's all these really really um graphic illustrations so i thought that was amazing um and that does retail for 29.99 us Another one I picked up is called Nevertheless. Uh, it's a memoir by Alec Baldwin. <clears throat> so it says it talks about, you know, him being a Long Island boy. <laughs> um, and his, like, how he felt about being in a famous family and then his, all this stuff. So anyway, retailed for $28.99 US. I thought that was an interesting read. And finally, in the books I got big gal yoga I love it it says poses and practices to celebrate your body and empower your life so yeah so cool um, and it retailed for <clears throat> $18.99 on the cover and wherever it was so I thought that was really good yeah looks like regular yoga to me but I don't know, maybe they have some modified stuff, but I don't even think so, which is great. Um, all right, what category to move on to next? All right, so somebody I know, <clears throat> ooh, sorry guys, I hit you, is expecting a baby boy, and I hit you again. <laughs> so I've been putting together uh, things to ship out to that person. So some of the things that I picked up were these a tiny little baby boy booties. They're in the newborn size and they have these little bears on them. And then I got this uh, Sesame Street a pacifier case. So I definitely learned like through having my son and the gifts that you get and stuff like, I don't know, that's, that's how I try to decide what I'm going to give people who have a baby because like some things are really like you have to pick them out yourself you know what I'm saying like what the baby likes or if you have your own I don't know I don't know so what anytime I pick out gifts it's things that like I'm not going to buy you a pacifier I'm not going to buy you a bottle I'm not you know like those types of things because that's very like you need to do that it's just my thing anyway sorry so I got the pacifier case with baby Elmo on it. I'm all over the the cartoon characters, but and then I got this Disney baby <clears throat> pacifier clip. So that's really cool and you can attach it to their clothing clothing and and to the pacifier so they don't lose it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I got these little newborn two pack of socks. No patterns, just nice and cute and simple. Picked up a bag of these for the diaper bags just because they're great and anybody can use these when they have a baby and i picked up this beautiful little praying mini bear it's so soft and they had brown and they had pink as well but this is the uh prayer one So that's going in the baby gift as well. Then I got these stickers by Pebbles. And they're all baby boy themed. So I thought those were adorable. And last so far, I know I'm going to pick up more, but I thought this was amazing too. So this retail for $12.99 US and it's a dad's guide to baby care. I thought it was so awesome. So I'm throwing that in to the baby boy bundle as well. 
All right, the next category I'm gonna get into is random household items. So the first thing I picked up were these mothballs by Enos. Enos, since 1918, you'd think I'd know how, what, what it is, but they're four ounce bags. Um, these are not distributed by Greenbrier, but it is a great price for a dollar for a four ounce bag because these are for my mom and she's asked me, I don't know if I said that, she's asked me to get her mothballs before and when Dollar Tree didn't have them and I had to go to like a regular store, I was like, damn, I did not know that mothballs were kind of pricey. I mean, I'm used to them being a dollar, you know? And like back in the day but my mom still uses these she's I can't with the, in trunks with all like linens and you know she just loves mothballs she loves them so and she's too young to love mothballs and moving on okay next thing I bought was this breezy black jasmine lotus of 55 sheets with iron ease Oh, I love this. I love this so much. So I try to get that one when I can. And for 55 sheets, it's absolutely amazing. The next thing I picked up were these Glad With Gain 30 gallon garbage bags. These are my all time favorite, favorite garbage bags um, that Dollar Tree ever carries. And on occasion, and I hate to even give out this secret, but it's not that much of a secret. But on occasion, you can get the bonus one with six. And I've been holding out and I've been holding out, waiting to see if the bonus ones will come out. They have not. So I picked up two of the four counts for now. And I will keep waiting to see when the six comes out and buy several of those. So this is Gain and Febreze in a Glad bag. Oh, I love it. I'm obsessed with anything gain or Febreze that comes in things. Then I picked up two more of the moisture eliminators with charcoal for down in the basement area. I picked up two of these LED wall switch lights. I've actually never gotten these from Dollar Tree. I've gotten them from like Amazon. So I figured I would give these a try because I feel like several of you said that they're pretty decent. So I figured I would give them a try for a little dark nooks and crannies and closets and things of that nature. Other thing I picked up was another pack of these corner guards by Angel of Mine because uh, in my kitchen we have an island and my son is getting taller and he's at the perfect height on the island. He was showing me a dance move the other day in the kitchen and did a spin and clocked himself right here. He got a nice big bruise immediately, even though I iced it for like 15 minutes, um, and then even discolored under his eye for a little bit. It's getting better. The eye's fine now, and the bruise is like a little green to yellow, you know, going away. But right away, I was like, yeah, we need to protect that island now. So that's that. Then I picked up one of these little magnetic picker uppers, these telescopic things from the tool bench section because I had gotten my husband a mirror like this. Um, and then I guess he dropped something the other day and he was like, this, he picked up the mirror and said, this is a magnet too, right? I said, no, it's not. Um, and I think I do have a magnet elsewhere, but it's in the garage. So anyway, I just got this to have in the house in case you drop a screw or something behind somewhere that you need a magnet. So I got that for him. Another thing I picked up, and I feel like I should have gotten two of these, but these are boot laces. And you get two different sizes in here, 72 inch and 54 inch. So both of those for a dollar is absolutely amazing, I think. Um, and they only had black right now. So I actually got this to throw into my stepfather's Christmas stocking, but I probably should have gotten one for my husband too, I feel like. I don't know, but I just think that these are good to have on hand when you need them and boot laces are slightly harder to find because they're longer. Okay. Then I got one of these uh, compare to command strips um, that Dollar Tree carries. I just needed a few more, so I picked up this size of them. What else? Uh, okay, then I picked up this uh, Sure Sense spray 10 ounce and this is rose so i did pick up two i got one for me and one for my mom and then i got um two dish soaps these are 25 percent more free it says versus the 12 point the previous 12.6 fluid ounce so it says limited time bigger size i don't know how true this is i don't know but these are 16 ounce so i got one of the original palm olives 
Essential Clean. And then I got one of the Ajax Ultra Bleach Alternative Citrus Pomegranate. And they are both 16 ounce. So I thought that was pretty good. Unless they're just like fooling me with their marketing. I don't know. I just felt like it was good. Then I got two of these little Scotty's 64 count tissues. And I just got them because I love that ocean scene that comes out pretty much every summer. But I'm obsessed with it. And it matches my beachy house. And then I also got uh, some of the Mead business size envelopes. Um, these are the 30 count because they are instant seal. They have a 40 count if you want to lick them. I'll get 10 less for the instant seal. Just me. All right. What else? What else? What else? Okay. I picked up two of these Lysol bowl hangers. They also had the purple lavender ones, but I'm getting sick of that scent because that's all they had for a while. So I picked up two of the blue, which is Atlantic Fresh. I love those. They make the whole bathroom smell. It's amazing. Okay, what else do we got? Picked up another spray bottle for when I cut my son's hair because the stainless steel one stopped pumping when I gave my stepfather a haircut. Yes, fun fact. Should have filmed it. Okay. Another thing I picked up was this grabber from the tool bench section. Now, if you shop at Dollar Tree at all, you know that they usually always have these and they come in blue also. But recently, two separate times, and the things are still sitting there, I'll tell you right now, I dropped something behind a server in my kitchen. Still haven't gotten it because I can't move the server and I couldn't reach it. And then behind my dresser in my bedroom and it's still there because I couldn't move the dresser and I couldn't reach it. So in my head, I'm like, I need to get one of those grabber things from Dollar Tree to have whenever this happens. So now I have one for when I drop things that I can't reach. Yes. There. All right. What to move on to next? All right, and a few little food items. I just went and pulled some stuff out of the freezer to show you guys too. So they had these, which I've actually never seen before. It's usually the bar S stuff that's going on, that, that Dollar Tree has, but this is Harvest Creek. Oh, they're Canadian. That's pretty cool. And it has a production date and a Best Buy date, so that's cool. So the production date is June 15th of this year, and it is good until September 13th of this year. So these are chicken franks, and you get 10. I picked up three packs of these for my son. Um, and then I got two bags of the Peed Brothers cheese ravioli. So these are frozen at Dollar Tree, and they are 13 ounces. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, and these are good for almost a year. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, frozen, but then I picked up this three and a half ounce box of Champion Jumbo Raisin Medley. So it looks like they have medley, so all the different color grapes. These are actually good until June of 2021. So I figured let me have these on hand for baking, for Christmas baking and things like that. A dollar's a good price. I did not know that until I had to go buy. When was it? I think, I don't know, St. Patrick's Day, something. I, I needed raisins and I went and I like looked at Aldi and even there I'm like, really? I didn't know that they were, <laughs> I'm lost sometimes, like two and three dollars. Anyway, okay. Then I picked these up from the fun find section. This is going in friend mail to Patty over at Patty's Chance Holes and more. Good friend of mine. This is going to go to her son, William, in their next friend mail because William loves tacos. And this is Fiesta Gummy Candy. And they are gummy tacos. I can't. I can't. And these are imported by Greenbrier International. All right, so I think I'm just gonna show you a couple more things and then we will cut it off and I will do a part two. I warned you in the beginning it was gonna be a multi-parter, but um, all right, so let me just show you. So I just picked these up, these happy birthday napkins and happy birthday plates. And I also have four different Mylar happy birthday balloons in the house right now because today is my stepfather's birthday. So once I'm done filming this, I have to 
try to get a present together for him and get us ready to head over there and just hang out all day and swim and then we'll have dinner and cake later on but I picked those up and balloons um, so that we have that all right so I'm going to stop this now and I will just hit stop and hit start and come back with part two so make sure to stay tuned for that and if you chose to spend a little bit of your day with me today I thank you so much and if you have not hit that subscribe button yet we would love to have you as a permanent part of the thrifty divas family because YouTube analytics tells me that 55% of the views are from non subscribers what anyway so if you ever come back make sure to hit that subscribe button become a part of the family so until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you and just stay tuned for part two because i'm going to sit here and keep filming